After a lengthy struggle, King Hor Aha has managed to unite the twin kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt and proclaimed himself Pharaoh over all Egypt. As a sign of his absolute sovereignty and the establishment of this, the first dynasty of Egypt, Hor Aha has ordered the founding of an imposing capital at Men Nefer, from which he may govern this fledgling nation. Because of your family's many generations of faithful service to this land, Pharaoh has chosen you to be the architect of this splendid city. Because the capital is the very symbol of our kingdom, its citizens must enjoy a quality of life heretofore unknown in this land. To this end, you will eventually need to trade with other cities in the realm and to provide a higher standard of education for at least some of your citizens. You must also build a sacred mastaba tomb for the city's nobles. Hey guys, welcome back to Pyro. And today we're going to be making some houses and shit, but we have our, this is our main place where we get like, uh, I guess some of our economy shit going, so we're going to do that. I'm going to be very restrictive on the housing this time, just because I constantly have issues with people and the housing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make like the one road maybe. Yeah, we're, let's make the one road. Let's do something like this. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to say barley, barley, maybe like three things of barley. Be good. All right, I'm gonna say that. I'm say roadblock over here. More camp right there. All right, and now, now we just make a shit ton of housing. Cause that's gonna be good. Uh, and then a bazaar right here, I guess. And we need to also get the firehouse and architect post coming along. And now we can speed up the game again. I mean, if I had, like, nice corners and shit, then, like, I would be able to do a lot of other interesting things, but that's okay. Like, if I had corners, I'd be able to put, like, these... Are you for fucking real? I did this again. Oh, uh, I apparently had that on the, the wrong one to begin with. So we're just gonna make a crap ton of houses and crap like that, and... There we go, this should make them happen. Oh, wait, 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 we don't need that right now, though. We need chickpeas. And chickpeas is the resort, well, the, the kind of thing that we're mostly going to be building right now. Uh, that's utterly useless of a fucking layout that I've done here. Actually, it's completely useless. But anyways, um, so chickpeas is the thing that we're growing here, in this, uh, in, the, in this mission at least. And this should be good enough for this place. And what we're going to also need is we're going to need some breweries as well. So we're going to make that down here. Maybe like three. We need granaries. One, two. We need some some way of preventing everything from catching on fire and burning horribly. And we'll go do that. Uh, and we're just trying to basically upgrade them to what they want to be at. So And we can make a clay pit right here. We're going to just go a million miles per second. And there you go. There's our potters. Storage yard. Hopefully this is actually close enough. I didn't even think about this, but I don't think that that may actually not be close enough to Maybe we'll make another bazaar. You know, you can never have too many bazaars. This is the worst layout I've ever done actually uh, So we're gonna do beer and pottery are both good And we're also gonna need to make uh, some more housing here Firehouse and architects post. I think we're basically good We were supposed to evolve something into a spacious apartment pretty early on and this is chickpea farms, so we're gonna just do the rest of the chickpea farms then, I guess. Uh, it shouldn't be so bad. Chickpeas. We'll do something like this. It looks like I'm not gonna be able to mess around with this anymore because it's about to, uh, it's about to eat everything up. Like I, I think the I think the amount of food here is just perfectly fine for the. Um, yeah, there we go, it's gone. Alright. The amount of food we have is perfectly fine. Like, we're, we're okay. And hopefully that's enough chickpeas for it to start us off right now. Ah, oh, there we go. It is. And we have desirability issues, but that's also okay. We can just uh, make some gardens. And we have 500 residents. I'm trying not to spend too much money, because the money's a bit tight on this mission. It's actually starting to get a little bit on the difficult side. And now it's saying, okay, now we have the problem of there's no entertainment to be found in this location. Um, 
And it just occurred to me that I just built a bazaar where I didn't want it to be. Fuck. You know what? You can fuck off. And why can why can he fuck off? Because we're gonna make a bandstand right here. So we're gonna make a conservatory right here. I, I should just remove those messages actually about the millimeter prediction, because that actually really doesn't matter. It does mean that we we can basically grow more food. Uh but I mean you guys don't care, and I don't care, so why even have it? And I'm gonna figure out how to get the fuck up here. How many more chickpeas can we have, do you think? That many. Which is not nearly enough, but that's okay. Actually, no, it's enough. I'm, I'm just kidding. There we go, we're good. Okay, this is the this is a terrible layout, but we're good. Like, I wish I could, like, make something here. This is horrible. Like, why can't- why not make half a farm, you know? Okay, apparently desirability still needs to improve. Let's make plazas. So generally when it says, like, evolve into the space, like, what we do is we look at the objective and we say, like, uh, actually, we only need one spacious apartment. We don't even need that many. So it needs, uh, supplies of what now? I'm I'm nearly collapsing under the weight of all this water. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we need pottery. Oh, they're dealing with it. Got a well. Aha! See? They love wells. See, we have, uh, we have the pottery coming in. Ah, there we go. There's our pottery. And they need a physician or mortuary, uh, so we can fix both of those. Uh, physician can go, like, right up here. And, uh, apothecary can be right there. So just to sell both. Kind of two birds, one stone kind of dealy. And this guy needs... Okay, now they just need beer. And that's something that we've also already worked on as well. And that's it. That's already done. Now we need a magistrate from a courthouse. And there you go. Courthouse done. And now we're up to edumacation. So we can now make... Uh, basically papyrus. So it's just... Um, if you didn't notice the reeds here before, apparently that's what... It, that is made for papyrus. So we're actually going to be making a fair bit of that. So two reed gatherers, and then like a couple of papyrus makers, and then papyrus will be allowed. I don't know where. Maybe we should make it in the storage yard here. Actually, how are the gods doing? Do they fucking? Oh shit. Okay, I think like we have. They have the same amount of everything, and for some reason he's mad at me. So I think he needs a bit more. I, I honestly, I I worry about it sometimes because I'm like, is he gonna be like? Like, jealous that I made more shrines for someone else, but apparently I need to make shrines for someone else, too. Okay, we need a Scrabble school, but yeah, that, that, that shit's coming along. How's our uh, unemployment coming along? 104. Okay, that's okay. What's wrong with this one? Run out of pottery. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make... Uh, another firehouse... Uh, firehouse. Firehouse, another architect station. Uh, right here, and we're gonna also make another greenery. And we're also gonna tell them to stop coming out the fuck up here. The roadblock over there. I think it's enough food, but I don't know. Because, like, these people constantly have no food, and I'm not sure why it's just the middle. Because there's no bazaar up there. How, do, how are these people getting food? The work camp has a detrimental effect of, on this location. Well, that's okay. That's what gardens are for. Out of money. Okay, so we're already out of money. It's our first uh, red flag right there. Don't worry, perfect. Perfect induction this year. Okay, looks like unemployment's good now. It's not so bad. And now we need a scrabble school. I guess we'll just make that right there, right now. Lack of housing prevents immigration. All right, now we finally have trade with other cities. Um, it's excellent, and we have a world map, so I'll, I'm not gonna read it, I'll just explain to you. There's two cities here we can trade with. Uh, this is New York, uh, I guess. Uh, we're in Canada. And this is um, this is Texas. Uh, so they buy. So the important thing is to look at like what they sell, what they buy. So we have clay, pottery, beer is what they sell. Well, we need none of that, but we have papyrus here. So we, we're gonna actually do that because that's actually super important is to to buy the stuff. And then we have cells, bricks, uh, clay, and all that kind of crap. And if you didn't notice by the introduction, we are building a monument. We are building a. I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's like a master bar or whatever the fuck. Um, the shit's a deal with this place. 
All right, so I, I don't really know where to bring this stuff, but we're gonna maybe just put it right here and have, maybe have another work camp here. Actually, is this enough? Like, I, I think I'm there gonna be... So many places in poor condition. I can barely keep up. Yeah, he always says that, don't worry. Uh, we're gonna just have bricks here. And what we actually have to do is we have to say, hey, um... It's starting to get on the confused side. So, we have the, our overseer of commerce, and he's gonna say, okay, we have pottery, uh, so we have all the things that are available for import, so, so we open up the trade routes and everything. So we're gonna say for the papyrus, we're gonna export, let's say over, I don't know, 100 for now. And then for the bricks, we're gonna import them, but however, it gets expensive, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna say, only import to maintain about 1,200. And there you go. So we should hopefully be okay. And also what I'm gonna, I'm gonna need is, because we have the ratings, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute, we're gonna have to make a personal mansion. Uh, it's not just because I have an ego. That's that's the second reason we're making it. But the main reason is that I'm just going to live by the fucking clay pits. Um, we, we need to start drawing a salary. And the reason for that is um, we have these ratings. And we have to instruct our... We have to give a gift to Egypt like every freaking like, uh, year. Otherwise, this rating goes down. Uh, also, prosperity is going down, but we're, we're, um, we're importing and exporting kind of strangely. So that's the problem with that. Uh, yeah, we have no barley. What the fuck? We need... Uh, you know, I'm gonna make one more thing of barley. I just decided this. We have enough food now. I think we have... Like, you may think that, like, we need more food. Like, why? Where is she going? Monuments. With a supply of bricks, you're ready to begin work on monuments. Here we go. Construction builds, peasant labor, all that kind of jazz. So, um, because this is a building that's made completely out of bricks, uh, it only needs brick layers, uh, no construction required. So what's going to happen is we have the work camps. Hey, we already have two of those. Uh, we have a bricklayer's guild, and then we have the monument. So he's just going to—they're going to lay it slowly and build this thing up here. Uh, it's just showing us the route that they take. They basically go from work camp, they bring the bricks over, and then so it's not like slave labor or something. It's—it's it's actually like actually good shit. Um, how do I rotate this? Oh, there's a button to rotate this. I, I'm just gonna keep mashing shit on my keyboard until I fucking... You know, whoa, okay. You know what, fuck it. It'll just be there. I don't care. There is a way to rotate stuff, but I don't know how. But I'll figure that out later. Alright, we're gonna make a Bricklayer's Guild like right here. And there we go. We're set. So, um, let's have a look quickly before any kind of disaster strikes. Uh, particularly Pata, we do want to make him happy. Uh, because he has the ability to destroy something in storage yards. And as you can imagine, that's uh, uh, not conducive to winning. Um, particularly when I'm investing so much into these these resources in the storage yards. So this money is going to go just sink down. So you know what we're going to actually do? We're going to, while we have the chance, we're going to also make more papyrus. And now we have employees needed. I feel like I need another bazaar, like I really do. Like, we actually need another bazaar. Maybe, maybe, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of this work camp. We're gonna make this into a bazaar. And we're gonna make work camps, like, down here. I don't see how else I'm supposed to deal with this stuff. Like, why are these guys always, like, without food? It's like, we have, like, Ethiopia here. Get it? Because this place, this game takes place in Africa, kinda? Yeah, terrible joke, I know. All right, work camp is on fire, excellent. That didn't take very long, I just literally put that up. Like, I, I like it when we can just see this, this shit going on here. Okay, that's, whoops, I have to destroy the rubble before I can uh, remake the work camps. Don't ask me how that works, it just does. All right, how are we doing for unemployed? Okay, we're doing pretty good. Uh, so we wanna maintain a balance, but we need uh, low unemployment rate, basically. One sec, let me go send our first gift over. So we can't just say send a gift every year. Uh, we don't have enough money, what? I have $16. Okay, yeah, a lot of people call home. I forget what the minimum amount is to send a gift, but it's like something like 20 or something weird. But we're still doing good for money, so that's, that's good for now. Um, we have beer and shit coming as well, so that's also pretty good. Also, why is... Okay, I, why did I make this storage yard for? 
I just want beer and papyrus here and pottery. I could just make an extra one, but like seriously though, papyrus is okay here too. Oh, it was a papyrus yard, that's why. Alright, so things are going to be pretty good with this. We have plenty of beer coming along too. That's excellent. I don't know if I need to make any more. Uh... So we're not going to bother even with collecting taxes, even though these places would be that bad. It's just the investment of having like... The tax collector needs to have um, the village palace. And there's really no reason for me to make the village palace. The exports give me like way more in this mission, so... Why is this thing taking so long? Someone's slacking on the job. But I'm pretty happy with this. Does not have access to a water carrier services. Well, that's that's his problem. Let's see how crime's doing. Crime is okay. Alright, how about risks of disease? I wish I had just like a one risk overlay, but oh problems, here we go. That's 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 what it is. So he lacks raw materials, uh, but that's his problem. This guy also lacks raw materials. Why does this guy lack raw materials? How much bricks does he need? We, we, we really don't want to overdo it with the brick importing, because I think in this mission it, it's also very generous and gives it to you through other means. Um, so current, like, look, look how many bricks this requires, 10, 800. If you import until like the end of time, it's fucking awful. So, like, you're just gonna notice like the money's gonna be bouncing up and down constantly, and I'm, I'm, I'm super afraid of like, yeah, look at that. I just lost like a thousand dollars right there. There you go, it's gone. That's horrible. All right, I sent a gift of a a Babylon a Babylonian blah, 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 tablet. Babylon, Babylon. I, I don't know how to fucking say that at all. It's, I, I say Babylon, but I can't say Babylonian. Maybe I just did then. Yeah. So we're giving him, we're giving him a Babylon iPad, I guess. And uh, that's pretty much it for this time. We just gotta make sure that no one's pissy. This is when it starts like getting serious now. Before, before we could meme, now we can't. Oh, the desirability needs to improve. Well, you know, we can just do plazas, I think. There you go. Plaza solved, or problem solved. And we're okay now. So I think they don't upgrade anymore. Yeah, they just complain now about the fact that there isn't enough entertainment. And building a juggler's school doesn't actually do anything. You just need to have the next version of this upgrade. And it's like, I forget what it is. Because we already have, like, instruments and jugglers. What's the last one? It's a dude playing a piano. That's it. No, not really. Um, like, I think it's, like, mimes or some shit. I don't fucking know. Who cares? So we're just going to watch this building get made. Because it's actually kind of interesting. Like, that, the monument creation. Like, they're not something you just place all willy-nilly nilly, like you've seen me been doing so far. It is actually something that takes a great deal of effort. Um, see, like, they did... Sorry, I just sped it up there so you can see them bring actually the stuff and then these guys kind of work on it and then they go to the next area and we wait for um, workers to come out and bring some more bricks over. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be possible. Ah, here we go. They kind of just come on down. Now, mind you, if you actually try and delete it, it'll actually like go like, are you sure you want to demolish this? So it actually warns you that you're, like, it's not a nice thing to be trying to do. But you can, you can go rebuild it from scratch if you really want to. It costs a shit ton of economy. So okay, so we had like 5,000 before and now we're like down to this much. So this is why we make like a crap. I kind of knew we'd be doing dealing with Papyrus this mission. Like I'd have to sell it. And that's like the best way of dealing with this mission completely. Is to like limit your expenses with people's like payrolls and things like that. And, and also we still have like way too much... Um, unemployment, so, you know what? More work camps. Because that is something we do not want to deal with right now. Because a lot of bad things can happen, actually, with unemployment. I've been, like, treating it very unseriously so far. And, um, but now I'm a little bit more serious about it. Alright, let's send another gift of Persian carpets. <laughs> Persian carpets, alright. Um, unfortunately, our prosperity rating is in the in the dumpster because we keep losing money, but this is because we keep buying bricks up. Uh, we've only, like, kind of maintained a very delicate balance right now, and this is why I've been kind of trying to be careful. Which we need 4,000 bricks left. And it's also why I don't like to import, like, a shit ton of bricks as well. And I don't think we can actually import anymore now. So there's actually, if you guys didn't notice, there's actually a limit of 
See, that's the papyrus. It's, it's, this is per year, by the way. So we actually haven't gotten any uh, anything this year, but because it's January now, it just rolled over. Happy 2017, motherfuckers. And, uh... Wow, these guys, like, eat like no tomorrow. Like, we're down to our last, uh... Bizarre thing here. Actually, did this guy get food? How did he get access to food? Like, this is what this asshole must have done. Instead of, like, feeding the people here in, like, the nice complex, he went all the way over here to feed them. And, congratulations, we are now dead. These reeds will make some fine papyrus. Nothing we can do. We There's lost. No place I'd rather juggle. I hope to continue to make view. I do my best to give the people what they want. But luckily, now, nobody is complaining, so... And I mean, the thing is, the minute we finish this, this guy here, yeah, look at this, look at all the fucking shit we, like, our money just all over the place. It's why I hate importing things like bricks. I always prefer to make them myself, like the materials I need. How much do we need now? 2,800 bricks. I absolutely just hate importing shit like this. All right, oh, 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 we're done, we're done. Slow motion. Bricks, stop importing them. That's it. The monument is done. We don't need to. We don't need to ma import anything else. Oh no, we're not. Fuck. All right, I may have lied. Sorry, I can. I concealed a deep and dark secret from you guys. Fuck me. That makes me sad. I thought it was done, but then they went back on top of it, and now we have to make more fucking bricks on it. All right, now we're definitely done. Okay, don't import any more of this shit. Okay, so I keep, I keep like, I have like this thing where I keep like speeding up and I always feel like this is too slow and then too fast is this, is this fast, so. Alright, we're in debt again, but that's okay. Because you know what, do you know what, we're, we're nice people and we're going to send something, a gift to an ancient carvings. How, how, how are they any more ancient than, what is it, like caveman shit on walls? Like, fuck. What can we possibly send? This is Egypt we're talking about right now. And don't worry, our monument's almost done. Almost done. And what's the last one? 400 and we need 800 bricks left. Yeah, this is, this is it. This is the last two loads. We're gonna watch this thing complete. So this is actually like, the, the predecessor to this game, the um, Caesar 3, well it's not really a predecessor per se, but like it was the game that was made before this. That doesn't actually have anything like monument building. And this is why this is the more interesting one to start with in my opinion. Because we get to make some serious shit, like we're talking about sphinxes and um, pyramids and and spa alien spaceships and shit, you know? You get, get some ghouled up in this bullshit. And last brick has been played, it's now complete, that's it. Um, so now we don't even have to worry about this guy anymore, that's it. That part of the mission is now complete. Now we look at our objectives, we want to get prosperity up to 20, After monument of 9, we, that's already up. Culture is already 15, it's fine. Uh, it's just the prosperity needs to go up. So that is the big problem. So now, uh, since we don't have to import any more, we don't have to import any more goods. We're done with that completely. Our focus is now on making money. Um, but you can see it's so random how this works, but ideally it should be able to maintain itself. See, like we got now, I got 15. Yeah, there we go. So we're just making money. So I'm just gonna leave it on maximum speed, and we're good. We can kind of put this on problems. Request good. They, these guys want some goods, and this is another way you can use to raise your kingdom rating. Um, occasionally, they'll want um, goods from random cities. So, like, it just went up to like 52. So that's it. So, like, literally, the prosperity rating, rating changes by year. Um, and so it's already January, so let's see what it's up to now. Eight already. There we go. High employment re retard. What did you say? Retards? Yes, it did. Uh, it's really. I'm really super triggered right now. Oops. Um, so we have. Thir I don't know how it's a high rating. It's literally 39. So we just make another work camp. Uh, Kingdom standing climbs because you sent the 900 flasks of beer. Oh, and we got a gift from a neighbor. Now they're gonna give me bricks. That would have been super useful for before, trust me, but unfortunately, um... Yeah. You got nothing of the sort. Uh, yeah, we already built it by importing everything, so that is one of the things that can happen in this mission, is... Yeah, they're trying to give it to me, but... Okay, now I have enough now. Yeah, you can, you can accept it. I think they get mad if you don't accept it, so... Now we have bricks just sitting here for no reason. I don't know, if you guys want to, like... 
rebuild the monument, we can do that, but I don't see the point. Yeah, how's our unemployment actually? 17. You know what? You know what we can do? We can we can make some more temples. To block our amazing view of that. Oops. Oh, also it won't burn down to the ground. Let's, let's just put it in front of the entrance like uh, those two things. There we go. We're just going to keep it sped up so we uh, fix that shit. There we go. Eight unemployed. Excellent. So I don't know what else I could do to raise prosperity. I think it's just an overtime thing. And we just we lost so much prosperity before because we were building this stupid ass monument. So, oh wait, we're already at the limit. What the fuck? We're at forty. How how did we not win already? Population of fifteen hundred. Oh, that would be the problem. All right. Um, didn't think that through, but that's okay. We can solve that with uh, housing. Uh, also make a water supply. Is he, is he working the water supply? There we go. Uh, oh, we have some people coming in. And, and, not quite there. Fuck. How, how could I do this with minimal effort? Yeah, let's just do this. This is minimal effort. There we go, victory. Excellent. Congratulations. You have built a capital worthy both of the living and the dead. And by developing trade relations with other cities, you have introduced your city to the world stage. Amazing. But that's the end of that one, guys. And thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, this is just one monument erected. It's a small one, too, so it gets, it gets pretty difficult. But that was only difficult because I had to import shit, so whatever. Anyways, thanks a lot, and see you next time.